Welcome to another edition of the Sundown series, and this one is going to hit different. As a matter of fact, um, you know, last week we left out of Kentucky, and I told y'all we was entering a new state for this particular series. And this one hits close to home for me because it's in the state that I live in, which is Maryland. But today we kick off with Chevy Chase, Maryland. I've heard of Chevy Chase. I don't think I've ever been to Chevy Chase. I probably drove around Chevy Chase to get to somewhere else. But Chevy Chase is definitely one of those upscale looking places. Like you got to have some good money to live in Chevy Chase, Maryland. But we're going to find out what or why Chevy Chase, Maryland is on this list. Chevy Chase is the name of both a town and an unincorporated census designated place that straddled the northwest border of Washington, D.C. and Montgomery County. And I've told y'all about Montgomery County. Several settlements in the same area of Montgomery County and one neighborhood of Washington include Chevy Chase in their names. These villages, the town, and the CDP share a common history and together form a larger community colloquially referred to as Chevy Chase. Primarily a residential suburb, Chevy Chase adjoins Friendship Heights, a popular shopping district. It includes the National 4-H Youth Conference Center, which hosts the National 4-H Conference, an event for, for hers event throughout the nation to attend, and National Science Bowl annually in, their, in either late April or early May. Chevy Chase is also the home of the Chevy Chase Club and the Columbia Country Club, private clubs whose members may include many prominent politicians and Washingtonians. Chevy Chase was noted as the most educated town in America in a study conducted by the Stanford Graduate School of Education with a 93.5% of adult residents having at least a bachelor's degree. The name Chevy Chase is derived from Chevy or Chevy Chase, the way that they spell it is C-H-E-I-V-Y-C-H-C-E. The name of the land patented to Colonel Joseph Belt from Charles Calvert, 5th Baron, Baltimore on July 10, 1725. It has historic associations with a 1388 Chevici of Chevetche, a French word describing a border raid fought by Lord Percy of England and Earl Douglas of Scotland over hunting grounds or a chase in the Cheviot Hills of Northumberland in Otterburn. The battle was memorialized in the Ballad of Chevy Chase. During the first half of the 20th century, Chevy Chase was a sundown town that excluded individuals based on race and religion. Founder Francis G. Newlands was an avowed racist who in 1912 introduced a plank to the Democratic Convention that called for a constitutional amendment to disenfranchise black men and limit immigration to whites only. Three years earlier, the Chevy Chase Land Company had brought suit against a developer who had begun to sell lots to black people in a planned subdivision called Belmont on the grounds that the developer had committed fraud by proposing to sell lots to Negroes. By the 1920s, restrictive covenants were added to Chevy Chase real estate deeds. Some prohibited both the sale or rental homes of homes to a Negro or one of the African race. Others prohibited sales or rentals to any persons of the Semitic race, i.e. the exclusion of Jews. By the World War II, such restrictive language had largely disappeared from the real estate transactions and all were voided by the 1948 Supreme Court decision in Shelley v. Kramer. Now, I know usually when it comes to these uh, stories right here, I usually give like the population, like the racial makeup of every town, but this particular one does not include that in this particular write-up but that's fine because i got all i needed from the uh the racially restrictive covenant section of this story and that doesn't surprise me because like i said if y'all just wanted to know like i said this is montgomery county that county is predominantly white anyway so that doesn't surprise me and if you go onto google and you type chevy chase into the google search in the images just look at the homes that are out there this is like no slouch of a town um as a matter of fact there's not really that many rundown places in Maryland, to be quite honest, at least from the ones that I've seen. Compared to the other towns that I've done before this, the ones that I'm going to talk about are really built up. They're not run down at all whatsoever. But like all the other ones, they all have a racist history. And this one was this one belonged to Chevy Chase, Maryland. But that's going to conclude this edition of the Sundown series. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. If you have not done so already, make sure that you 
text the number that is pinned down in the comments below so you can receive notifications every time I upload a new video or go live.